You know what's interesting, guys? I'll be honest. Atari's been on an acquisition spree. It's quite interesting. And as someone who's got an investment in Atari, I've been curious following what, they, what they've been doing. So, but yeah, Atari has now acquired Atari Age, which is a community-driven website. I'm going to have a little look at this news and give my thoughts. So let's see. Publisher picks up retro community, brings site founder Albert Yaruso on board as an internet historian. Unfortunately, he's not one of the Russo brothers who made the Marvel movies, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on who you ask. After Atari today announced that they has agreed to acquire the Atari Focus community and news site Atari Age. Yeah, because Atari seems to be like building a media company now. Because they've got Atari Age, they've got Moby Games, and then obviously they've got, obviously, all their gaming stuff. So that's kind of kind of weird. Right. The site will continue to operate under the management of Atari Age founder mm-hmm. Albert mm-hmm. Yaruso and his team of volunteer moderators. And Yaruso will also take a role with Atari as the company's internal historian. Oh, so he's going to be making sure that Atari can actually reacquire the stuff that they sold off. Good to know. Atari launched Atari Age launched in 1998 under the name Atari 2600 Nexus and was relaunched as Atari Age in 2001. Bloody hell. I am old. This For those who don't know, I wasn't even born then. I wasn't even born. I wasn't even born when the rebrand happened. So damn, that's a that's a long time ago. Atari, okay, beyond its ar- a- active forum, the site contains detailed archives of its information on Atari hardware and software. Atari-centric magazine and catalog scans, a storefront, and even a collection of hacked ROMs and pl- power NTCS conversions for the Atari 2600. Yeah, I, I don't think the hacked ROMs are going to be there for much longer. In 25 years, the Atari age community has documented Atari's games and provided a valuable form for a large, passionate community of retro game fans, collectors, and home developers, says Atari CEO Wade Rosen. Good old Wadey boy. Wadey boy seems to be... I mean, he's around. He always, he's always talking about how, um, about you know, documentation for Atari and Atari's passionate fan base, which is all good. It's all good because they're really passionate about fan base and whatnot. But, like, come on, Wadey boy. Come on, Wadey boy. Announce something decent. Atari Age, not a fan of the acquisition. Uh, but if you maybe announce something that you're buying Graphite Lab or Sneaky Box or something, there you go, you'll have my interest. By bringing Atari Age into the Atari family, we can ensure the important resource gets the support it needs to continue to fulfill its mission for years to come. That's what my ex-wife said. Didn't really last, so did it. Atari has been busy since Rosen took over a CEO in 2021, investing in retro streaming site and stream. Yeah, they got like a $100,000 investment in Antstream Arcade. And retro hardware maker Play Margie, who makes the Poly Mega. Acquiring the online gaming database Moby Games, and earlier this year acquiring Retro and Remaster Specialist Night Dive Studios for $10 million. Yeah, Atari seems to be like in the, in the start there, or they seem to be like back in the start. But my thoughts on the Atari Age acquisition? I mean, did you really need to buy it? Like, really? Like, w- what is the goal here? That's why I don't understand. Like, Atari Age is just a website, so I don't get why you'd spend so much money on it, but you know, who knows?